Hello, I'm Renee Clark and welcome to this video lecture on creating custom templates in Microsoft Excel. Creating a custom workbook template is relatively straightforward if you already have a good, clean, working spreadsheet to start with. You start with something that you've already built, laid out, made sure that you've tested the formulas, once you have something that you're sure is working, you're ready to set it up for template. So you t delete any existing data from the data entry areas of the worksheet. You want to make sure you don't delete your formulas, of course. If you would like to have data entry controls and cell protection in place, go ahead and set that up if you want. If you would like to leave the option for your users to modify formulas, you would not set cell protection on them. Once you've done those things, then you're ready to save the workbook. You adjust two things, not just your file name, but you also change the file type to Excel template from the regular Excel file type. Let's take a look at that. Here I have a worksheet I've already started the process of turning it into a template on. I've put in this first cell inner region name here in square brackets to indicate that they should replace this text with the name of the region they're working in. The next step is to go in and these are my cells that are raw data and I want to delete them. You can see I've already got it all formatted so that it's ready to go when new data is put in place. My formulas are still in place in all of these locations, my total row and total column. I'm going to place my cursor back to cell A1, and I'm ready to save. So this is a spreadsheet that I started with a good, clean, working spreadsheet that I had tested and was sure the formulas worked on. Deleted existing data, put in a placeholder for where someone would enter their region name, and now I'm just ready to do the file Save As you know, and indicate a location, although it will immediately replace that. As soon as I select Excel template, it moves me to the custom office templates folder. And now I can also go ahead and change my file name. And I've changed the file type, so I'm ready to save. Now this is a template file. I can tell that up here on the name. It indicates that it's an XLTX file instead of just an XLSX file. And if I were to go to File New, one of the options in my personal list is the regional template. So now that I have this template in here, when I've restarted Excel, I can now create a file using my new template. And here's my new Excel file opening. So you can see it's a pretty straightforward, simple process. The key is starting with a good file, removing any of the data, and ensuring that your formulas remain in place before you do your file save as, changing the file type, and changing the name. More of my lectures can be found on YouTube by searching for Renee K. Clark and then subscribing to my channel. You will find a variety of Excel lectures available as well as selected other lectures.